Hello and welcome to Revit for BIM Training Seminar, Session 2, Mass and Family Modelling, continuing on with Part 3, Basic Mass Parameters. So in the previous video, we created a mass, we locked that mass to our work planes, and then we drove the work plane size with parameters. We'll add a further parameter to the mass and um, we're going to control its material with the parameter. Okay, so I'm going to hover over one of the faces, then I'm going to press tab on the keyboard, allowing me to select the whole form. Once the whole form is selected in materials within the properties, I could at this point just add a material to the whole form. Here's my list of available materials. If I wanted wood to be added to that list, I could double click wood, select it, and then OK that. I can't see any change at the moment to the material, but that's because I'm just on shaded with edges of visual style. If I changed it to realistic, I should see it looks more like wood. OK. That's not what I want to do. That's means that this object will always be wood no matter what we do. So I'm going to undo that as an option and go back to selecting the top face, pressing tab to select the whole form and come back into the properties here. I want to add material as a parameter. Now there's a small button next to where it says by category and I can add a parameter, call it material, and I'm going to leave it as a type parameter so it affects all. And we're going to discuss that in a while. I'm going to give it a name, leave it as a type parameter which we will discuss shortly and then OK that, there's my parameter waiting to be used. So let's go into our family types. Now we're going to discuss the difference between type and instance parameter. Uh, this is quite an important thing to understand and uh, it can be quite difficult to explain so the best way to explain it is to demonstrate and talk along the way. We created the width and the depth and if I go into modify you see that that is a type parameter. Now height we left as an instance parameter. Material we made as a type parameter also. So type and instance can be seen in a, lot, uh, a few different ways but how I like to think about it is as the designer of this object as the manufacturer perhaps of this object I I want to be able to control the size we look we're, t we're going to be using this we're going to be using this mass to create design options so our design options we're going to control the width and the depth and have a variety of width and depth options and those options are also going to have different material finishes within them. The height because it's an instance parameter rather than a type parameter that is flexible and that means we've left that to be flexible for the user so when we take it into the project environment the height will be very flexible whereas the width, depth and material will be much more bolted into the object. It can still be changed but we'd have to duplicate and you'll see what I mean as we go on. So to start with let's do a new family type let's call this option 1 20 by 30 meters brick. Just going to space that out a little bit so it reads better. Okay, so the naming does not 
control what you can do to this this is just a name but let's try and keep naming conventions okay so that name is there we've not made any changes here yet but what we should do is make the width 20,000 millimeters or 20 meters make the depth 30 thousand we're going to ignore the height because that's flexible and we can make those changes once they're into the project material let's add a brick material to it so I'm going to click in by category if I haven't got a brick ready to select here I can type into the search brick and just expand this up you'll see that there is a long line of bricks I think I'm just going to double click on brick normal select it and go OK there so that is adding that material to this option I then press apply it's made the changes in there if I OK that out and just change to realistic view you see it's changed brown jump back into this environment so that's one family type created let's create a new family type call it option 1 20 by 30 meters concrete okay now the size is fine the option refers in this case we're referring to the size of the building but let's change that material we haven't got a concrete loaded into there so again concretes that one will do okay that and then apply you see the visual has changed there to check it's working for us we can switch between the two and we should see the material change let's give ourselves another size option now go to new let's say option 2 50 by 50 meters brick okay make our change to the width and the depth change that to our brick so the brick is now inside this uh, our selection so we don't have to bring it in again it's already waiting there because we've used it once double select it and OK that and hit apply it's a much bigger form it's gone back to the brick make a new one option 2 50 by 50 concrete so I'll have to do here it's concrete it's apply that was changed there so now I'm building up my design options so the idea of this and the idea of this demonstration might be a very early design iteration obviously um, I hope your designs are going to be more elaborate than a cube but you see you can build in parameters to control size shape form of buildings which means it's a very quick thing to make quite dramatic changes to the form you might want to present two or three design options and we will use these design options later on to uh, demonstrate other aspects of um, the early design concept stage okay so we've got two options we could carry on but that's fine let's leave it at that right this part of the right this part of the design phase is over we've created our form with parameter parametrically 
Right, this part of the design phase is over. We've parametrically controlled our mass in a variety of ways. We can see all of our parameters are there. Okay. At this point, whichever one you have selected, so option one brick, I'm going to have selected, when I bring it into the project environment that's the one I will have hold of so but the others will come to the other types will come through with um, this option and we'll be able to jump from one option to another so let's go ahead and load into project show mass is enabled you'll see I have hold of one of them I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to two, three, four. We've got four design options so let's place four of them into our building. I'm just going to space them out actually because they are quite large objects. Okay, I'm going to turn on my realistic render mode to see the colour changes and now it's quite a simple process because we've got option one there in brick if I was to select that I see it's option one brick but I have a drop down I can see option one concrete is waiting for me there I can also have option two brick and option two concrete so this might seem relatively arbitrary but if I was a window manufacturer, a door manufacturer, C having control of the sizes of my products is a very powerful thing. If I've only got two or three types in my catalogue then those types are the ones I want people to be able to use. So being able to lock those down with a type parameter is quite important. The instance parameter that we left open, if you select any of the objects you'll see height is a very accessible parameter and is very controllable and it doesn't affect the other ones it is simply it is only associated with this one object so I can make those changes again there okay lastly if the width and depth and also um, material of this object isn't what we want or isn't what the user would want say somebody else in your design team who's taken your object and then is using them within their project that person can take one of them copy it over and then as demonstrated in an earlier video if I go into edit type and best practice you see the width and depth there and you see the material there we could make a change but best practice is to duplicate let's call it option 3 75 glass okay if I want to change the material come in here have I got a glass in my project yes click on there for glass and OK that so it applies that as a glass and then let's just change that size to 75 so I can take these objects and make them my own you'll see I've now got a see-through glass 75 by 50 cube if I go to replicate this object my option 3 is now available and I can make that change that notice the height is different because the height is an instance okay so I hope that goes some way to explaining type and instance and how we can create options and family types within the project's environments Okay, thank you.